Challenges with Interstellar Travel Introduction An interstellar project would be humanity's largest undertaking by far. Topping the efforts made by entire empires, like the ancient Egyptian Empire's mountain-like pyramids, or the ancient Chinese's efforts in building its continent-spanning Great Wall. Not only that, but it would also top any modern mega-project undertaking, such as the Hoover Dam and the Panama Canal. An interstellar program would dwarf the United States Apollo program that took a few men to the moon, and the multi-decade Russian Trans-Siberian Railway construction. I believe an interstellar program would compare to many of these and other comparable mentioned undertakings combined. In fact, I believe it would take no less than the full cooperation, resources, and technical capacity of the entire industrialized world. To have a shot at visiting even the nearest star system, two methods may be used. Method one is to get there extremely fast, limiting as much as physically possible the time required to get there. This would spare some complexity, costs, and resources required for the mission. This may also minimize the ill effects such an odyssey would lay on its human crew. This method, however, requires leaps and bounds in our technologies and understanding of the universe. Method 2 accepts our current technological state and settles with relatively slow travel times, current ship systems technology, and long, long trip durations. However, this exponentially complicates the mission and requires us to recreate Earth conditions on the ship to ensure a gradual generation's long completion of the mission. Unfortunately, we currently lack both the propulsion means to shorten trip times and the ultra-advanced technologies required for the immense complexity and scale to duplicate Earth conditions on a ship bound for an interstellar voyage. For example, to duplicate Earth conditions, the ship would have to be more of a habitat than a spacecraft one that propels itself to unimaginably high speeds, and, likely on the kilometer scale, requiring Earth orbit-based assembly and launch. We as a world, I believe, lack the political will, economic prowess, and global cooperation commitment required to organize the interstellar program necessary. And realistically, we lack the ability to generate the energy required to undertake a viable interstellar ship construction and feed its propulsion system for mission completion. Some calculate that this energy requirement is in the order of gigawatts. Additionally, NASA's five hazards of space flight would also apply to any interstellar voyage. These are unsolved challenges that prevent us from settling even nearby celestial bodies such as the Moon or Mars. These hazards are the human exposure to space radiation, the ill effects of altered gravity fields, the technical challenges introduced by the distance from Earth, and the challenges with human isolation and hostile closed environments. It is humbling to recognize that our most extreme efforts in space have only strenuously propelled crews as far as the moon's surface, and to construct and crew a few space stations a few hundred kilometers into space. Recognizing this, at this time, it seems nearly inconceivable that a human crew would be able to reach another star system, especially when considering our currently retarded state of space technology energy production, economic distribution, and effectiveness in government. Also, an interstellar trip to the nearest star system will likely be a one-way trip for the crew and their descendants, since a planned return to Earth would be several thousand years more into the future and risking returning to an utterly unrecognizable and hostile world. Those taking part of the voyage, if it ever materializes, will have volunteered for permanent excommunication and commit to becoming another species of humanoid altogether. Lastly, for now, I believe we may only keep dreaming and trying to bring about the conditions necessary to favor the rapid developments needed to begin to inch into a global, space-faring civilization. <laughs>